Today's video is going to be about life after divorce and if you're watching this video you're obviously going through the divorce, been through a divorce or in the early stages of going through a divorce. Uh, well this video is to basically explain life goes on after divorce. It may be a very big struggle now but I've been in your situation many times. Uh, I've been divorced three times and I've been married four times. I'm happily married now to my fourth wife and we have a, a wonderful life together. <laughs> After every divorce, it hurts. It really hurts. So this video is, is sort of a, a bit of a boost for those people who are feeling down and miserable and think, you know, woe is me, where's my future going to be? When I got my second divorce in 2002, that was the defining moment for me because at that time outwardly I was living a fantastic life and in 2002 everything was looking great I had three apartments three houses four jobs I was a firefighter electrician had my own children's entertainment business and property developer so money was coming in a lot of money was going out as well um, but everything seemed great. My wife was working at home looking after the kids and I was working so she didn't have to work. And it was, for me, it was good. I was working long hours. I could see which way I was going and thought that come 50 when I'm retired from the fire service, we could go around the world and have a, a brilliant life. And no debts, no worries, no nothing but you have to take a few risks to get there. Unfortunately, my wife seen it the other way and she didn't particularly like all the things that I was doing. So she initiated the divorce. Um, I tried, tried my best to get out of being divorced. Um, I said, I'll change, I'll sell all the businesses, I'll, I'll stop doing all my um, other jobs, so I'll just be a fireman and we'll just spend time together, me, you and the two kids. Um, she said I'll never change, she said you've always been like that so you'll never change. As I say we've been married for 13 years at that time and I was willing to change and I said I will change just give me the chance to change and she, she didn't give me the chance to change so we went through a divorce. So it was a very very messy divorce as you can imagine four, four businesses, houses, there was lots of money to be sorted out and so therefore that became embittered really in or uh, through the courts but anyway i digress the life after divorce once divorce was finished over and done with um i had a different outlook on life i could see the bigger picture in 2002 when i got divorced i knew i was going to retire in 2010 so i looked at the bigger picture and financially wise um because I could retire at the age of 50, I wanted my pension. I didn't want my pension to be touched so I could just live on my pension if need be. Um, my wife and their solicitors obviously wanted me to pay a lot more maintenance because of my jobs that I used to do. I used to earn a lot of money and I just said, no, I'm going to pack everything in. So, and I was just going to be a firefighter and that's what I did. But saying that, because we had lots of debts and we had lots of payments and what happened at the the interest rates for the houses and the mortgages went up and the economic crash sort of so it was like a double bubble my wife couldn't take over the mortgage on the house so therefore i was still tied to the mortgage on the house so what that stopped me from getting a mortgage for another house a catalogue of all sorts of things that went on there anyway it was where it was but getting back to the story about life after divorce um a friend of mine who used to come to Thailand quite a lot asked me to come to Thailand and I said no, nah, no, nah, nah, I didn't really want to go and he said come on Les, he said there was three other people that were coming to Thailand, never been before so there would have been a group of five of us all together and I knew all the, the people that were going so he twisted me arm and I came to Thailand and I've got to say that opened my eyes as far as looking at life's concerned and it did change my outlook on life for the rest of my life by coming to Thailand and I'll explain the reason as to why. Um, once I got to Thailand, it, it's a beautiful country, fantastic beaches, nice people, 
a great atmosphere, a great holiday feeling. And I've never felt that before. The, the, the just feeling of it felt so comfortable to be here and it, it was it was brilliant. Obviously a new place as well and um, it was just a, a great place to be. So anyway, long story short, we go to Koh Samui and I was found this girl that I was that I liked at one of the bars and we sat and we talked and I was with her for three or four days in Koh Samui, which is a beautiful, beautiful, stunningly beautiful island in Thailand anyway. And it just gave you a wonderful feeling being there. And I had a beautiful young girl that I was with. Uh, it was like a paradise, it really, really was. Anyway, she asked me to go and see how she lived. And my friend warned me again, she said, let's don't go, don't go, you're gonna be really, really upset when you see how these people live. And I said, no, I want to go and see how these people live. So I, I said, yeah. So I went back to where she used to live. And all I can explain it, it was like a garage, but there was eight garages around this lake in Koh Samui. That's all I can explain it as. It was a garage and two people lived in this garage and their bathroom was a, a separation wall from the from the bedroom with a 45 gallon drum full of water. That was the shower, a hole in the floor where you did your, your business. So it was just like, wow, so, so basic. So she asked me to stop the night because there was two single beds there. And she said that the girl that shared the apartment or the garage with her was away with a boyfriend. So I said, yeah, okay, I'll stay the night. Thinking, you know, this isn't the luxury I like in my hotel rooms or apartments that I've been staying in. So, so we stayed the night and as the sun was going down, some, some of the other people came back to their, to their rooms and this guy came back and he was one of the head chefs at one of the big hotels. He came back, I was the only foreigner there, everybody else was Thai and he started cooking for everybody and the girl that I was with, she said, oh, you know, he'll cook food for you as well. So, you know, come and join us. So there was about half a dozen people all together sat around eating. He's got his guitar out, starts singing a song and these people were happy. As the sun was going down over the lake and I'm thinking these people here have nothing, absolutely nothing. And they're happy. And that was the day that it changed my life about I was a materialistic person. I was Mr. Mr. Materialistic. I had the nicest cars, I had the nicest home, furnishings, holidays, biggest TVs, everything that you could imagine I had because I was working four jobs and it was just like, no, if I'm working hard, this is what I want. And then I discovered a life that you didn't need all of them things. And I'm thinking these people with nothing are much more happier than I was with everything. So that changed my outlook on life. And then I came back to England and it was coming to the end of my divorce for the settlement figures. And at the end, I went into the courts and I had a, a solicitor, a barrister, trainee solicitor, a secretary that was taking notes. And I was so disappointed at their trying to deal with my divorce. I told them, just sit in the room and I'll go and do the negotiations myself. And I went and finished off my divorce with the negotiations myself. And I personally finished off my divorce. The barrister was in and out, absolute crap. And the cost of, of that was just horrendous. In a long story short, I got divorced. I said to my ex-wife at the time, I said, right, okay, that's the fighting over and done with now. The divorce is over and done with, let's move on with our lives. So she was happy because she seemed to think that she won an awful lot. But my state of mind, the fact that I thought, well, what's the, what's the point in fighting? We have the two children, so she was always gonna win the house anyway. And I looked at the bigger picture, eight years time I could retire from the fire brigade and go around the world, which I did, and go and do exactly what I wanted to do, which I have done. And she still has to work until she's 67. So she, I've been retired now 11 years. 
she still got another nine years to work. So who won? It's not a case of winning or losing, it's a case of being happy with yourself, happy with the outcome, and whatever the outcome, making the best of it and moving on. I live in Thailand now, and I've lived in Thailand now for nine years. It's a fantastic place. It makes you feel young again. There's a, it's a whole different atmosphere over here. And unless you've been here, you'll never experience it. You'll never know what it's like. You can have a wonderful lifestyle here and not a lot of money. So if you want to know any questions and you want to know any answers, there's an email down below. Email me and I'll give you any answers what you want to know. Leave your comments down below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Until the next video, bye for now.